As the pandemic evolves and more people are eligible to get booster shots, will the standard for being fully vaccinated change as well? Angelique Arantok went to health experts to find out. What does it mean to be fully vaccinated? Norfolk's acting health director, Dr. Param Jaberi, acknowledges it can be a tricky term. So I think for right now, the, the common acceptance is still the two doses of the Pfizer and Moderna and the one dose of the J&J, &J, so for work requirements and many others. And then came along the boosters, right? Waning protection over time warranted an additional dose. So does that mean the definition of fully vaccinated will include a booster shot? Interestingly, several states on their own have gone, gone ahead and said, in our state, we feel that you've got to have the booster to be fully vaccinated. But from a federal perspective, that's not the stance as of today. Even so, more boosters are expected to roll out after the FDA and CDC gave the green light for 16 and 17 year olds who got Pfizer. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said, quote, although we don't have all the answers on the Omicron variant, initial data suggests that COVID-19 boosters help broaden and strengthen the protection against Omicron and other variants. It's really boosting us back to where we would have been you know, an early winter, if you will. Riverside Health System VP and Chief Pharmacy Officer Cindy Williams describes Pfizer's latest lab data about Omicron as promising. It appears that getting a booster of their product gives you a 25-fold increase in antibody titers. Dr. Anthony Fauci said earlier this week that it's a matter of when, not if, the meaning of fully vaccinated changes. Medical experts are looking at the data day by day. For 13 News Now, I'm Angelique Arantalk. Connecticut and New Mexico are the only two states that changed their standard of a full vaccination to include boosters.